a medical doctor is a Phrase Express customer, and he asked us whether Phrase Express could calculate the age based on the birth date of a patient. Here we go. Phrase Express prompts for the birth date, and it can embed the entered birth date and can calculate the patient's age based on the current date. Now let's check how this is done in Phrase Express. Okay, we begin with a regular phrase and prepare this boilerplate. Now let's replace the dummies with the extra content. This is a birth date and we need to enter it first. So we use user input and select the form input macro calendar, which allows you to enter a date. Now it's very important that you select the date format, which is currently set on your computer, which matches to the country you are. So now let's show it in the American date format. So you would need to choose this. And then as a comfort function, you can pre-fill the input, for example, uh, with minus 40 years, with minus 40 years. Now we need to store this user input in a variable. So we select process output and the output of this calendar input would go into a variable, which is here. Then you need to give the variable a name. This is from a former demonstration and we want to output it directly as well. Okay. Now this calendar macro placeholder will prompt the user to input the patient date and it will embed the input and replace it with this placeholder. Okay, now let's calculate the patient's date. Remove the dummy, then we go to date time, date calculation. Then we give this macro a name. This is just for cosmetics, so you know later what this macro is about. Then we get the variable which holds the patient's birth date. This is here, patient birth date. And we want to calculate the difference from the patient's birth date and the current date. So we right click, select date time, and insert the date time macro stamp. And we say, okay, current date. And again, it's very important that you keep the same format so you can do the calculation. So we have this, in this example, we have this American date format. We put it here and then we need to make sure that you calculate the desired time difference. In this example, we want years. There we go. That's it. We can test this with a right click and select preview. We are prompted for the date. We can select another date, press OK and we get the result.